Hello, 大家好。嗯、um, ，So 今天 today I'm gonna make a video about、uh, 能会可以。Okay, so here take a look. 能会可以。So 能 means can, and、uh, 会 also you can means can. Um, 可以 may can. Okay, so what the difference between these three words? Let's take a look together. Mm, okay, so first one, 能 so 能 let's repeat 能能 perfect. Okay, so 能 means a physical capacity or external、um, condition. So、uh, let's take a look the example first. So here, there's a sentence. This lion is Chinese character, and this lion is、um, Pinyin. So. 他能喝二十瓶啤酒，真酷。OK， 他能喝二十瓶啤酒，真酷。嗯、uh, ，He can drink um twenty bottles of beer. It's really awesome, like really cool. OK， 嗯、um,。So here, 他能喝二十瓶啤酒 This 能 means he has the capacity to do something, and、uh, it's really cool. Okay, this is means capacity to do something. 能 I can do something. 我能做什么事 Okay, okay. Let's take another example. Okay, so here this lion the same as Chinese characters, and、uh, this lion is Pinyin. Okay, I'll read this to you guys. Uh, 我今天我今天要开会，不能去看电影 Okay, 我 I me Okay, so I have a meeting today, so I can't go to see a movie. Okay, I have a meeting today, so I can. Uh, go to see a movie.、Mm, so here, uh, 能我不能 I can't do something because there's some external condition don't allow me to do something. So because I need um go to a meeting, I have a meeting, so I can't go to watch a movie. Make sense here? So 我不能去看电影 So here, 能 is related to some external condition. Mm -hmm. So it's different, a little bit different with the first one.、Um, physical capacity, make sense?、Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. So next one is 会 Okay. 会 Let's repeat. 会会会 Okay. 很好 So、uh, let's take a look at the example here. So first one. 小李小李只会说中文。不会说英文 ，so little Li just can just can speak Chinese Mandarin, and he can speak English. Okay, so little Li just、uh, know how to speak Mandarin, but not English. Okay, so here, Hui Hui means you learn something and now you know something, so you acquire some skill, you acquire some knowledge, then you can do something. So it's a process. You learn something, then you can. You 会 make sense. So here, because、uh, Xiao Li learn learn Chinese, so he can speak Chinese. But、uh, because maybe he doesn't learn English, so he doesn't know how to speak English. Make sense. 会 so、um, learning something and acquire knowledge, and、uh, you can do something. Have some skills.、Mm -hmm. Okay. Next one. The second example sentence is, 小白小白会唱很多歌 Okay, 小白会唱很多歌 So little Bai knows um so many songs and he can sing so many songs because of maybe he practice and he、uh, listen a lot and she、uh, he learns a lot so. He can speak a lot, a lot songs. So, 小白会唱很多歌 And because of he learns, so there's process. He learns, then he can do something. Make sense? Mm-hmm. 很好 Okay. 第三个第三个 is 可以可以 Okay. 
可以 ，Let's read. 可以，可以 ，Perfect. So 可以 means may or can. Okay. Um. So it's usually um used for like ask or giving a permission or like um may do something. Let's take a look at the example here. So first one, 我可以进来吗？我可以进来吗 ？Means may I come in? May I come in? 我可以进来吗 ？If you answer, 嗯 ，Yes, say, 呃，是可以进来。嗯，可以进来。If answer is not like, 嗯，不可以进来。Okay. And then second, second sentence is, 你不可以用我的电脑。你不可以用我的电脑 ，so you can't, you can't use my computers. You can't use my computers. Okay, make sense? So this is、uh, the use usage of 可以可以 Yeah, I think um it's pretty clear about the difference between these three words. If you still have any question, just let me know that I will help you guys to um cope with that. So um. In order to let you guys like really understand all the things, so this is the practice. This is practice. So gonna you're gonna try to do it by yourself first, and then I will let you know the answer. Okay. So first one, 你 and then blank 写汉字吗？你写汉字吗 ？So which character or which word we should use? Give you guys five seconds to think about. Okay. 五、四、三、二、一。Okay, so the first one we should write down. 会 ，Okay, 会。你会写汉字吗 ？So 你 means you. 写 means write. 汉字 means Chinese character. 吗 is a classroom particle. So do you know how to Uh, write Chinese character, or can you write Chinese character? So here we should say 会会 because of learning how to write Chinese characters, and now you know how to write it. You you acquire some knowledge, some skills. So the first one should be 会 Okay, let's take a look. Second one. Okay, second one. 小白小白布 blank 打球。你教他怎么打球好吗 ？So 小白 means little 白，不 means no。打球 means play ball。你 you 教他 means teach him teach her。Yeah， 怎么打球 ？So how to play ball 好吗 ？Okay。So what what should we put in this blank？ Give you guys five seconds. Five minutes. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So in this blank, we need to write down 会 Okay. 会小白不会打球 because 打球 is not like the physical. Capacity. You should learn it first. You learn it, and then you know how to do it. It's a, a process. You're learning something, and then you gain the skills. Okay. So here, Xiao Bai can't play ball because he doesn't know how to play the ball, right? So here we we can say Xiao Bai 不会打球小白不会打球 Okay. 第三个第三个我 blank 用电脑吗用电脑吗 ？OK, I think I missed another character. Just give me one second. I missed another character of 电 OK, 电电 means electricity. 脑 means brain. So 电脑 combined together is computer, laptop. OK, so 我 blank 用电脑吗 ？So 用 means use 电脑吗 ？Question particle. So give you five seconds to think about. 五、四、三、二、一。Okay, so here we should put what? Yeah, we can say 能 We also can say 可以 Okay, 我能用电脑吗？嗯、um, ，Can I、uh, use the computer? It's kind of like 
external um, condition, and also if you use 可以 it means you ask some permission. May I use the computer? Okay, 我可以用电脑吗？我能用电脑吗 ？Do you get right answer? I hope you guys did. Okay. Okay, last one. 我 blank 说英文，可是上中文课的时候，我不 blank 说英文。Okay, so first character 我 means me, I. Blank 说明 speak. 英文 means English, and 可是可是 here means but. 上中文课 means attend have Chinese class, and 的时候 means time, and 不 means no. 说 means speak 英文 English again. So, uh, I something speak English, but when I have Chinese class, I. Know something? Speak English. So, what should do? What should we put in the first blank and second blank? Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So, the first blank we should say, 我会说英文 because 英文 here you should learn and then you know how to speak it. So, it's a skills, right? So, we put 我会说英文 And then second blank, we should say, 我不能说英文，我不能说英文 because it's an external condition. Now I have a Chinese class, so I need to speak Chinese rather than speak English. So now we should put 不能 Did you get all the right answer? I hope so. I think you guys are smart. Okay, cool.、Uh, I think this is all the things about、um, practice and the difference between、uh, 会可以 mm, and I will teach you new things today. So now it's a season of、um, winter in Canada. It's like so cold now these days. Snows a lot. Temperature is so low. Minus always minus. I I don't like it. 我不喜欢 Okay, so now、I'll、teach you four seasons. Four seasons. So the first one, the first one is 春天春天春天 means spring. Okay, spring. Even now it's spring, but it's still cold. I think it's still winter because in Canada there are like eight months winter and just a four month summer. <laughs> There's no spring and no fall. <laughs> okay, so 春天 Let's repeat 春天春天 Perfect. And then next one, 夏天，夏天 summer. I like summer. Okay. And third one is 秋天，秋天 fall or、uh, autumn. Okay. 秋天 And last one, last one is 冬天，冬天，冬天 winter. Okay, winter. Mm-hmm. 很好 ，and then teach you another two expressions. If now it's winter, now outside, 下雪了 okay, 下雪了下雪了 it snows, okay, it snows, okay,、mm-hmm. okay, 下雪了 and then next one is 好冷啊好冷啊 it's so cold, it's so cold. 好 is adverb, and then 冷 is adjective. So adverb modified adjective, and it shows like the degree. Okay, it's like oh, it's so cold. Okay, it's not good cold. It's 好冷好 Here is an adverb. Okay, so it's like so cold outside because it 下雪了 Hmm. So that's everything about today's video.、Um, hope you guys like it, and、uh, um, thank you for you guys to、um, leave me like this, so many encouraged、um, comments. And if you still have any questions, just let me know. I'm gonna try to make the video help you guys to learn more Chinese and uh, just uh, learn more like the daily life expressions. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Okay. 再见 Hope you guys enjoy the winter or summer. Okay. 再见晚安